Clarendon Learning explores our natural resources. Can I ask you for a moment to consider this fantastic planet we live on? It is remarkable. There is no other planet like ours, the planet we call Earth. Nothing like it in our solar system. And there is no other planet like this one, as far as we know, in the whole Milky Way galaxy. Yes, Earth is unique and diverse, and everything we need to live and enjoy our lives is right here on planet Earth. When we talk about the things that are available in nature, things that are found in and on and around the Earth, things that are used to sustain our lives, or things that are used to make other things that we may enjoy our lives, all these things that the Earth provides are called natural resources. Think for a moment and answer this question. What is the one thing you could not do without? Did you say smartphone? Dude, really? Let me rephrase the question. What is the one thing you cannot live without? And please, don't say your smartphone. Who said cheeseburgers? Now you're getting closer. The food you eat comes from natural resources. Maybe you said you can't live without water or air. Bingo! People need clean water and clean air to live. And these are natural resources. Here is a short list of natural resources. And you may think of many more. Water. Air. Coal, oil, natural gas, minerals, soil, timber, and forests and plants. I think we could also include things that provide other forms of energy, like wind and the sun, as a natural resource. And, while we're at it, let's also include animals that are used for food and clothing as a natural resource. Of course, I'm referring to cattle and poultry, and pigs, and fish, and other game animals. Natural resources are categorized in two basic groups, renewable and non-renewable. Oxygen, fresh water, trees, and plants are examples of renewable resources. These are things that the Earth continues to provide, as well as solar energy from the sun and power from the wind. And if animals continue to have babies, they can be lumped in with the renewables. Non-renewable resources, however, are like things that once you use it, it's gone forever. Resources used to provide energy, like oil and natural gas and coal, are non-renewable. These resources were in the earth for millions of years, and as we use them up and burn them up, in our cars and machines and homes, they are gone forever. Also in this group would be resources that are mined, like gold, silver, and other ores like iron and metals that cannot be replaced. People began making use of these natural resources when they began making bricks of earth and clay and began diverting rivers and streams to build reservoirs and irrigate crops. They planted seeds to grow food and raised and controlled herds of cattle, and mined gold and gemstones to adorn themselves with jewelry. They cut down trees and made log homes. Early people used different resources to trade for what they needed. Natural resources were and are like money. As you probably have figured out, it is by using these resources that the economies of the countries of the world grow and develop. Jobs are created as natural resources are used. For example, ores are mined to make steel to make cars. Timber is harvested to make lumber to build homes. Plastics and glass get their start from the resources the earth provides. Clothing and textiles, medicines and machines, everything gets a start from basic materials provided from what? You guessed it, natural resources. Where does milk come from? Did you say the store? Where does it really come from? Food comes from something that begins in the earth. 
our natural resource. Right now, the people of Earth rely heavily on a major natural resource, oil. Oil has been in the Earth for hundreds of millions of years, and people discovered that it was a fuel for energy. It was great to burn it to make us warm in the winter and use it to power machines, including automobiles and airplanes and ships. We have been pumping it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all over the world. But we can't do that forever, can we? Remember that oil is a non-renewable resource, and when it's gone, it is gone for all time. Don't you think we should find another source of renewable energy? Energy that is also cleaner when used. You just may be the one to figure out a better way to use our natural resources. Maybe a better way to use our renewable resources like water or the wind or the sun. Natural resources are valuable. If you consider the value of timber, oil, coal, natural gas and minerals, here is a list of the countries with the greatest total value in natural resources. In the top spot, Russia. Number two, the USA. Followed by Saudi Arabia, Canada, Iran, China, Brazil, Australia, Iraq, and Venezuela to round out the top 10. You may consider watching the Industrial Revolution to see how people have used the resources of the Earth to improve our lives. In the future, managing and protecting our natural resources will take skill. It will take ingenuity, technology and knowledge, and awareness, and careful conservation. Remember that much of our resources are non-renewable. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. We will always need clean water. Can you imagine a world without clean water? Try drinking a glass of dirty water. No, thank you. As our need for energy increases, we will need people to develop improved and efficient sources of renewable power, like power from the sun and wind and water. The use of non-renewables is still important, but it won't last forever. Conservation of our resources is like money in a savings account. You don't want to spend all your money so you have nothing, right? Much of our natural resources have many uses. For example, we build dams to hold back rivers and create reservoirs. Reservoirs then provide water for large populations to drink, to irrigate crops, and to provide hydroelectricity, and provides areas for recreation. This is a wise use of a natural resource. The oceans are huge but they are not fresh water and not for drinking. We use trees to provide timber to build homes and make toothpicks, but we must continue to plant new seedlings to have trees in the future. We've got to be smart and learn to use things over and over and reduce using things where we can. Can you help? What can you do to help preserve our natural resources? And let me ask you again, what on this earth can you not do without? Can you help keep it around a little longer? Can you help protect and conserve our valued natural resources? I think you can. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.